Good morning and welcome to my beautiful bungalow. I hope everyone is doing well this July 16th. I wanted to give you a garden update and let you see how everything in the garden is growing and performing and see if it's something you may want in your garden. In the front we have the sun patients. I absolutely love these flowers. I think they are such great border flowers along with the lemon coral sedum and they're just so pretty I cannot tell you how many people stop and ask me what they are and even as the blooms kind of die off they get a pretty pink and white so it really adds a lovely color variation to the garden I just think it's so pretty and over here I have a beard tongue and that is really starting to grow. I do see we have some mushrooms there that I will get rid of, but uh, starting to grow and fill in. I just planted that a few weeks ago to fill in some spots in the garden. I put one in there also. He's not getting quite as big as the other one, but he's kind of shaded out, so I will trim back some of the spirea behind him and some of the dusty miller and let him get a little more sun in there and the sedum behind that is doing beautifully looks like it's getting ready to bloom the phlox is in full bloom i had cut this one back in the summer so it's lagging behind he was just taking over i still may decide to move him and put something else here not really sure yet but he was taking over and some more of the beard tongue right there. I can't say the real name of this. It's like pentasum or something like that, but uh, beard tongue works for me. And the echinacea in the back is doing lovely. I don't know why one is significantly smaller than the other this year, but sometimes that happens. The bobo hydrangea is looking great. The window box is looking absolutely beautiful really blooming and starting to hang. The coleus in the back is finally starting to rise up, but not yet. Our coleus does really, really well. As you can see here, just beautiful. They get huge. So I'm not really sure why they did not in the window box, but they did not. The hanging baskets are also looking beautiful. I just replaced that one because it wasn't doing well. I went away for a few days and my husband's, I think, got up too early to give it water to help it through the day. So this particular one wasn't doing great. So I switched it with one I had in the back, but the rest are doing really well. And he did an amazing job of keeping everything blooming and pretty. Considering he gets up for work at 5 a.m., I thought that was incredibly lovely of him and appreciate it greatly. And here is coleus and sun patient. You can see the sun patient is pretty in the pot, but it doesn't get as big as it does in the landscape. These get huge, as did the lemon coral sedum. Again, we have some beer tongue, a little dusty miller I planted, which is really doing well, and more of the dusty millers. That is either an invincible or an incredible hydrangea and it is in a pot so it will be going out in the landscape under it you can see a little echinacea which it kind of drowned out this year but that echinacea is doing beautiful and the phlox over here is just doing gorgeous there's another little beer tongue the petunias are starting to spill down and our fire grass is starting to find its way up there's the hanging basket and the window box from this side and these hanging baskets are just gorgeous i've kept them trimmed so they would get nice and bushy and fill out and now i'll probably just start letting them spin down the yellow here picks up on the yellow in the dusty miller although they're not my colors our planter is doing beautifully really well. 
we tiled the back of our stairs which was quite easy. We did remove the overdeck, which is that gritty paint that's peeling up everywhere from the back. So we could tile them without them. All of this concrete will be coming out. We do not like this overdeck. It did not work well for us, but like I said, we are not the ones who installed it or painted it. So I don't know if it was prepped properly, but it just worked horrible. We tried to power wash a lot of it off, but we're just going to break up these three slabs of concrete and put brick or pavers here. Not really sure which, but this is what it looks like right now. We'll grout it in the fall after all the flowers are gone before I put my fall decorations on the porch. So this is our July garden. If you have any questions or want to know what something is or any comments, please feel free. And we will keep you posted as we do more projects, but I'm a big fan of tiling the back of the concrete steps. Hope you all make it a great day.